everyone so I have a hole yes you'll be like run your hole in any project pan it but a lot of these things are more like stuff for my hair and my skin and some like skincare items um, I am starting to run a little low on certain products I decided to pick up some things some things and um, I am like using try not net yeah I tried out some new products for my hair I fell in love with one particular item Picked it up, picked up that same product for some family members because highly recommend it. So I thought I'll share my haul with you. It's not necessary beauty items and um, not all of them. They like skincare and that kind of stuff. So if you guys use any of these things that are personally new to me, um, feel free to share your comments, your thoughts, your experience in using these products. And let's dive in. Have the bag here with me. So... Please don't mind the rustling. I have two random things that I'll still share it with you. I picked up household gloves. Now, these are not like the disposable ones. I picked up those because I have been making um, like hot sauce, pepper sauce. And I also made something called kimchi. I don't know how many of you are, with, are familiar with it. And I needed it for that because you were required to like um, massage in like a hot piece into um, the cabbage and they said use gloves because you can it can burn and because for those of you who make pepper sauce mother-in-law you know that your hands can burn did make some recently and had to deal with um, fiery hands for a couple hours so decided to get those gloves um, I did pick up a couple of those so that's just one and I also use those to do other things around the house next would be crazy glue I kill these I use them for all kinds of stuff to put it you know like little it's crazy it's yeah it's actually crazy how I use crazy glue I sometimes like to have this in my um bag to go like just because little things happen something breaks you can glue it quickly you know to fix it I also use it for um like things that break like caps that fall off little all kinds of stuff and um just like keeping it handy then I picked up this Vatica natural this is dandruff guard style and hair cream now this one is lemon tea tree and almond didn't necessarily picked up because of dandruff but because it has lemon tea tree well especially an almond in it and I saw Nicole use this I don't know maybe sometime last year and talked about this I think she went to a hair show or something like that but Nicole was like the first person I saw this who spoke about Vatica and I always meant to try but I had so many hair products um, like moisturizer and this is a styling cream but what the girl um, told me is that you could also leave it as use it as a leave-in conditioner and stuff like that so that is more or less what I'm looking to use it just decide to try it out um, it's a big jar but it's not like full all the way to the top there is space and it does have a kind of leave-in conditioner scent for those of you who use a lot of those leave-in conditioners it kind of has that that's slightly medicated it's not um has a little lemon does not smell like tea tree at all and i like that i picked this up because i always like to have this i have a review on this this is the blue blue magic origins indian hemp love this oh my gosh it smells amazing I had this and the argan oil. I am working on the argan oil, but absolutely missed my Indian hemp. So, thought I will pick it up. I think after this trip, I don't need to purchase things for my hair anymore because I have stuff to last me a while. I picked up the a larger Imami seven oil, seven oils and one damage control hair oil love this i think i spoke in my last haul how much this is like working for my hair i have the smaller one did pick up um a smaller one for my mom my sister a friend of mine because it was so amazing i wanted them to try it and i did have some more stuff but my i picked up for my mom who was traveling so she got those i picked up this ambi fade cream wanted the oily combo skin but it didn't have that so i said before i have to come back I mean come back go back and purchase that means I may most likely pick up other items I will just stick with the normal skin and this ha it has vitamin E and alpha hydroxy acid I usually use this studio 35 
um, AHA cream, but I don't have it, and I don't know if I'll get it soon. I have been asking people to check up on it, but it's always sold out in Walgreens. So, decide I'm not going to wait any longer and go ahead and get it, because I have a whole bunch of it's texturized issues, and this really helps for me to, when I use it. I generally use it at night, and it helps a lot in just getting rid of all the dead cells off of my face and stuff after I scrub. <clears throat> also picked up this Toppy Clear Black Soap. I've never tried it. I was just looking at, I've used other black soaps, so I thought, hey, let me just try this and see how it works. Toppy Clear is a really, really inexpensive brand, and I said, let me try it and see. I maybe can do a review if you guys are interested, but if you've used this, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, what else? Picked up this Imami Vanishing Cream. It has enriched with anti wrinkle conditioner. This is interesting just because I fell in love with that Imami product. I decided, hey, I'm gonna try another product now. This smells quite Asian, um, so this again will be another product that I will use at night. I'm not into really vanishing creams, but one of my friends told me she just uses it more or less like because, um, when she goes to the beach and stuff, and I do use. Um, and another Asian cream um, when I go to the beach and I get tan and I am going this coming weekend so I just said I'm gonna pick it up I wanted something larger than the little tub I usually use because I of course get tan here and I want to use it for my neck and that whole area next I have two masks that I picked up and this was more or less out of like a whim I really shouldn't have picked it up but I was looking for another mask they didn't have it and I ended up picking up two of the Queen Heaven now I had the mint julep when it was in a tube um, this is their new look this is for oily and acne prone skin I don't know how that new formula works and then this one is a mud pack mask um, it has like a toxin relief revitalizes and detoxifies and it's anti-aging so I thought I'll try it also I've never used this one at all and I don't know how well this new if it's the same formula just a new look so plan to use them in the coming days and I picked up a couple chocolates I think that's the boys already eat theirs it's supposedly is mine um, but you know how that goes when you have kids it would most likely end up being mine somebody else is going to eat it so I'm not a chocolate person, per se. I have to be in the mood. I don't know how many of you like, you like chocolate, but you're not something you eat regularly. You have to more or less have a craving for chocolate for you to actually eat chocolate. That, if you like that, then that's me. On a regular basis, hand me chocolate and it's just going to be there forever. Like, I think my husband gave me Valentine's chocolate and the boys ate it just a couple days ago because I just had it there. So, anyhow that's my haul that i'm sharing with you let me know guys if you have any of these things that i said i haven't used like this toppy clay this imami vanishing cream the mud mask let me know what your thoughts are if you've actually used them how well they work for you love hearing from you guys in the comment section below thank you so much for your time and watching until my next video